Hello and welcome dear outdoor friends. It's a beautiful sunny winter day and today I want to talk to you about the brand new Osprey Talon Pro 20. Important thing that makes it different from other talons is the Pro in the name. So this is a backpack for pros. But is it really worth it? Let's find out. As always, a quick disclaimer to start things off. Osprey did send me the Talon Pro 20 for free, but there is no further agenda with this. And I am very thankful for Osprey sending me this pack as it allows me to produce this kind of content for you about the newest and most interesting outer gear. In that sense, thanks Osprey for supporting independent content creators. Now let's find out if this backpack is really worth your money. So the Talon Pro is a fully featured backpack with 20 liters volume and as you see it right over here it costs 175 euros or 180 dollars in the store. There is also a Talon Pro 30 available that will set you back 200 euros or 200 dollars. Of course, there's also a women's specific version available where some design features, shoulder straps and the like are made more suitable for the female body. The women's version is called Tempest Pro and it is available as a Tempest Pro 18 and a Tempest Pro 28. So the women's version has two liters less volume. Other than that, those packs pretty much pack the same really long feature set in which I will dive in in a moment back in my studio. If you follow my channel already for a while, you probably have seen this backpack in a video or two already, or at least on social media. So if you don't follow along there yet, then click on the links in the description to join me on Instagram and other places. But now let's head inside and take a close look at all the features of the Osprey Talon Pro 20. All right, we're back inside and now we'll take a look at all the features of the Osprey Talon Pro. The first feature I want to look at is actually the color the Talon Pro is only available in this carbon color. So I think this is a really nice color, but if you feel like, ah, gray, boring, then maybe look for a Talon or any other backpack which is available in a lot of different colors. Now Osprey used a 100 denier aerobic fabric and a 200D nylon on this backpack. So it's a little bit lighter than a normal uh, talon, but it's um, as durable, if not even more durable, if you can believe Osprey and what they're saying about this material. And now Osprey is very proud of this injection molded airscape back panel. It is really comfortable and it continues over in this wrap around hip belt harness, how they call it, that of course also has very big and spacious hip belt pockets on both sides. So if you like hip belt pockets and especially really big ones, then these are really, really good. So very easy to put a big phone in there like an iPhone 12 Pro Max or also your pocket camera and so on. Also here on the shoulder straps, we have these little pockets. These are big enough for some snacks, so a cliff bar or some trail butter or something like that. These um, little rubber thingies over here, they are for putting the uh, hydration reservoir um, mouthpiece that you can clip it underneath here or here. So it is dual functioning. Speaking of the hydration pocket, this is accessible externally. So right here boom, you have the hydration pocket up here is a little strap with which you can attach it and I am a big fan of that so you don't need to like open up the backpack and fiddle around putting your hydration reservoir in there inside 
this is a very nice solution it's very quickly and easy to access from the outside so if you want to refill for example at a stream you can just pull it out over here and you don't need to touch the content of the main compartment one thing that is also very interesting uh, about the Talon Pro is that you're able to adjust the shoulder straps so this isn't really bigly uh, advertised on their website but as you can see you can take this shoulder strap piece out uh, it attaches via a velcro um, in the inside so between the uh, reservoir and here this uh, injection molded um, back panel and this is a very nice system so this makes this backpack um, quite easy to adjust to different kind of people so if you uh, are hiking with your partner and he's maybe 10 15 centimeters smaller and he wants to carry your pack because you're sharing a backpack for example then it's very easy to adjust the height of the shoulder straps so that it is comfortable for people of any size and it is really easy to do so you just um, as you saw slide your hand between the velcros then you look that you align it into the center and whoop, then you have the shoulder straps where you want them to be. The shoulder straps have load lifters so you can adjust how much the backpack pulls to the back or sits closer to your shoulders. Well, this is um, at the moment everything I have to say about these. The shoulder straps are comfortable. They are also made out of this kind of foam with uh, dice cuts in there to make them lighter. Um, I'm not a big fan of these pockets. I find them a bit Yeah, too small for me. It would have been nicer if they would have been really big and stretchy so you could for example put a 0 0.5 liter water bottle in there or maybe also your phone, but at the moment these pockets are uh, Nice for like if you're running and you want to have some gels in there, but then I don't know they are also interesting looking. One thing of course uh, that we see over here is that we have uh, a chest strap that is adjustable in height so you can like just slide this up and down as you see fit and it has a whistle so if you are in an emergency situation you can blow this whistle to make people aware of you. All right that's really it about the backside now and the shoulder straps and the hydration reservoir. Let's switch it over to the front once more and let's have a look what we have over here. Um, we have over here two ice axe lubes and they are hidden so you can just Put them away and of course you also can use these with your trekking poles so if you are carrying trekking poles then you can um, put them in here and strap them there so that's a nice feature if you have trekking poles and then you might not need them if you're climbing up some very steep trail and you want to have your hands free and similarly you can also put an ice axe in here so you just drop it in and you switch it over and then you can put it closed like this and then you got your ice axe attached over here and it's out of the way so also very good solution as this is a multi-sport backpack you probably already have seen right over here a helmet attachment so you also can attach your helmet to the Talon Pro if you for example going inside after a cycle trip and you don't want to leave your helmet outside so also here quite easy and quick to do and um, it accepts any helmet that has ventilation holes And then we also have here a really nice big mesh pocket for the size of this 20 liter backpack. It's easy to stuff your rain jacket or your wind jacket in there and then you don't need to like open it and try to put it in there. Well uh, over here we have this little attachment point for a red light. This is especially interesting for cyclists. So if you want to have a red light on your backpack, you can just 
uh, put it through here, put the red light on and that way you will be visible when you are cycling with your Talon Pro 20 on. And then of course here we have a mesh front pocket. It's nice and stretchy. It's not as stretchy as I would like it to be. And I also don't really like that the top buckle is hidden underneath this piece of fabric. Now opening it is not really a big deal, but closing it I find a bit fiddly and yeah, I would prefer if it would either be no buckle at all because usually these things, if they are very tight, then they just keep your stuff there and you don't need to buckle or then that the buckle would be easily accessible and maybe even glued down in some way, not that it is able here to move around like this so that it is like escaping you when you try to put the buckle in the other end. So, but the front mesh pocket is spacious enough to put your wind jacket in there if you don't need it anymore or your rain shell or some snacks maybe if you are hiking and have some baguette or croissants or something that you want to carry along just and then you can squeeze them in here and that's a good space for them. So, as I said, we have here the attachment point for the red lights. You can attach your trekking poles or your ice axe. You can attach a helmet and here you can stuff inside. These are the things that we have at the front. But then we have over here also these stretchy mesh side pocket and they have this compression strap going over it. And they are a good fit for this kind of like six, 700 milliliter hydro flask bottle. So it goes in there without a problem, but anything bigger than that, I think will be a problem. So if you're usually hiking with one liter water bottles from the store, because these are very light, then it might be difficult to squeeze them in there. But maybe you are also using the reservoir here in the back. So in that sense, it's not really an issue for you and you are happy just about the possibility to be, put your hydro flask or another uh, vacuum insulated bottle in there. The uh, adjustment straps over here to compress the back further are quite nice and it's also good that these pockets over here are really deep. Well then here at the top we already see this is the main compartment that's what we're coming to at the end and then we have here uh, a very nice and big spacious pocket that's probably thought for keeping your wallet, passport or other kind of papers, maybe even your phone and charger and stuff like that in here. You also could keep your, um, if you want to, keep your sunglasses and uh, kind of stuff there, but it's um, accessible from the outside. So things that you want to be able to get really quickly should go in there. So then let's look at the main compartment. I will take my big puffy jacket out so you have a better feeling for the size of this backpack. Over here at the top we have a mesh pocket and it also has a keychain. Um, it's advertised everywhere so apparently these are very important things for people. Personally I never use them but I would drop my keys in there like that. And then maybe if you want to have a more secure space on the inside for passport or wallet then you can throw them in here. So this is the big 20 liter compartment of the backpack. Um, I have been able to fit all the gear for my kids and me in here when we went for day hikes now in January and February and it was like a thermos bottle or two then four cups uh, and then some snacks and stuff like that and maybe also a seat which I usually have been just squeezing here in at the front and that has been working very nicely so even if you are a parent you are able to transport in this 20 liter volume uh, the gear for you and your children or your partner so if you are going already uh, quite lightweight then probably one 20 liter backpack is enough. Um, it's a top loader or they say also a top front loader because apparently um, this is enough to make it a front loader I don't know but you can squeeze stuff in there and 
just to give you a feeling it is a really nice and big space in there one thing i forgot to mention earlier was this very nice a big hold loop over here in the back that makes it really easy to grab the backpack and it's comfortable too so even if it looks like it's thin and might like a squeeze or like pull into your hands really badly if it's heavily loaded that has not been the case and this is a really useful um, feature in my opinion and it's nice that it is a bit wider quite comfortable and so big because it makes grabbing your backpack a lot nicer I always am a big fan of really good design grab loops also one more comment on the fabric over here it is quite durable I haven't really tested how durable it is but I have other backpacks out of the same material from Osprey and those have been in use for years and they have never seen any problems so I haven't experienced that the fabric is easily breakable or anything like that one more thing about the fabric is that it also has a durable water repellent on top of it that makes it more water resistant or waterproof. The zippers are also looking very waterproof. I am now not sure if they're advertised as waterproof, but they look waterproof in my opinion. So I would say that yes, these are waterproof zippers. So this is also a backpack that should fare well in heavy rain and in wet environments. Another positive thing are these very big loops over here at the zippers. They are easy to grab and operate and it's a lot nicer than some small piece that you need to pull like this. So great work also on these zipper straps. Well the big question is of course how heavy is the Osprey Talon 20 and on my scale it is 925 grams. In my opinion that's not really light for a 20 liter volume backpack especially if you consider that the Talon 22 um, is considered to be um, pretty much the same weight but you still have a little bit more volume but you might uh, forego some of the features of this pack. But yeah, generally I would say 900 gram for a 20 liter backpack is pretty heavy. I got my Osprey Levity over here. That's a 45 liter backpack and that's also lighter than this one over here. And this is a really great backpacking backpack. So um, in that sense, Osprey knows how to make a very light backpack. So I wonder why they didn't take the things from the Levity and put it into the Talon Pro. Now it's just a little bit like it, the main difference to the Talon and other day packs or hiking backpacks is the features. And if you are somebody that wants only one backpack for everything you do, so be it uh, trail running or be it uh, cycling, mountain biking, hiking, mountaineering, stuff like that, and you only want one backpack, then this is a very good option to go for. There are a lot of backpacks out on the market that have a similar feature set that are lighter, just as durable, but cost a fraction of 175 euros. But if you are one that wants the best of everything and something that is also lasting for the next five years and you want to use it every day for everything that you do. So as I just said, from mountain biking to trail running to day hikes with your family, then this is a very good option. In that sense, you just need to decide for yourself if it is worth that much money for you or if you want something that is slightly more affordable and maybe buy in that sense maybe two backpacks. I don't know. Well, and that's it already about the Osprey Talon Pro 20. I hope you enjoyed this video and that I was able to help you to make up your mind about this backpack. If you got additional questions about the Talon Pro 20, please ask away in the comments and I will try to get back to you right away. If you enjoyed this video, leave me a thumbs up as it really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And as always, remember, life is better outside. 
in that sense enjoy spring and see you in the next one